Hey everyone, it's a very blustery Sunday morning and it's the 9th of February and I'm going to be adding an additional socket in the bedroom. So, there's the two existing ones and I want to put another one somewhere there. So, I do believe I have everything I need. I've got both my drills in here. I've got my cable. I've got my earth sleeving. I've got a tape measure there, I don't know why. I've got a pencil for marking. So I've got my screwdriver. I've got the drill. I've got the screws. Flathead screwdriver for terminating. Plugs. Right, we're good to go, almost. I've got that lamp on. I need to go and turn the power off. Oh, a bit of a dribbly nose as well. My sinus has been playing up all, well, most of the week. So, we need to turn off the power. Now, when I first moved in, the sockets in the bedroom were not labelled. It just had this one and this one. For some reason, each socket on each side of that room has got its own breaker. I don't know why. It just has. <laughs> So, I labelled them, so I know this one does the left hand side as you stand at the doorway. That's why I labelled it bed left. So it's bedroom, left hand side. See, the lamp's gone off now. On the left hand side. And the other one's labelled bed right because it is over there on the right hand side. So, first job. I need to just drop that socket off the wall. I need to uh, knock the hole in the side for the cable to go through. So I'm going to just pop you there, hopefully. Actually, in fact, for that one, I may put you over here. So you can actually see a bit better what I'm doing. There. How's that? There we go. All right. Plug that, get that battery out of the way. I don't know why I've got a random battery on the floor. I've got all my Lego in the lounge and it still makes its way into the bedroom. I don't know how. Right. A little bit of word of advice as well. Don't use the screwdriver that I'm using. I don't have my insulated one here, unfortunately. I forgot to bring it back from Mum's. It's always better to use insulated screwdrivers just in case you don't know if some idiot's going to come along and turn the power on. It's not likely here because I'm the only one in the flat. So, But you never know if you're working in someone else's house, adding something in for your parents or something. Right. I'm actually going to be able to do it without taking the box off the wall as well. Take the screw out. One. See, this is a socket that I actually added before because we only had the one on that side at that end. Right, so what I need to do is nibble cable entry out on this corner, like so, and then hopefully I'll just bash the inner bit through with the screwdriver. Like so, and I can put the box back on the wall. And that's that job done. Oof. No doubt you can hear that wind in the background. I'm always careful using one of these because the number of times I've actually cracked a back box. So I've just gone in too fast and too hard. Right. That job done. Now, I need to put this in. 
can put my mat up there, and I've got a level here as well, so I can level it all up. He says throwing the level straight onto the floor. Right. So that's got to go there. Down a little bit. Right there. So what I'm going to do, I think I'll only need a couple to hold this on. I'm going to put one there. Like that. And another one. Which is bloody tough. Jesus. I might have to uh, swap hands, I think. Because it was actually um, causing the other end to slide down the wall, and I don't want that. And this is a. Uh, very awkward to do it one hand. You know what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? I'm going to do it the easy way. That's what I didn't bring. A little tappy stick to do that. Right, let's have a look at my potter screws for a little screw now. I don't need anything too hefty, it's just got to hold that on the wall. He says, getting picky over what screws he picks up. Right. This is the easiest way to do this. Like a saw. And then this will act as like your third hand. That's exactly how I put shelves up on my own. I make one hole, put the screw in. Why did I have to throw that over there? Right, where's my level? It's not like stand on there, does it? Down a bit. There we go. I think I'm actually a bit off camera up this end, aren't I? Then, I'm just going to bring it this way. I've got the other socket box on next, so. Screen out so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. So the best thing is with one screw in there as well, all I've got to do is do that. Pop the plug in. I really should have bought the tappy stick out. What in? I forgot about that. Right, and that's got to go in there. Find a nice screw. For some reason I've got a completely bent one in here and I don't know why. It's a little bit overkill this one, but oh well, it's the first one I picked up. There we go, that's our trunking in. Let's check. Bang on level, right in the middle. Look at that. So if I can bring you in a bit. You see that bubble? Perfect. Great. Stick your bag over here. So, next job. Well, that one. On there. Put that over there for a the minute. Uh, where's my screwdriver? There it is. So, I've picked up the right one, haven't I? Yeah. One of the, I've got two of these, and one's got a broken back on the uh, back box, so. And I plan to use the other one on the other side of the room. I'm gonna put it um, just under the uh, end of my bed. So I've got something for the clock and whatnot. Need the level again. 
with that somewhere there, so the cable hole is somewhere central. Apparently, that is level. <laughs> right, the level says so. I do believe the walls are a little bit out on this in this place as well. I don't think they're 100% accurate. Right. I've got that. I've got to make a couple of holes. It shows how soft this wall is, doesn't it? I've not even got this on hammer. It's just on ordinary, on normal drill. This wall is breeze block, so it's a soft brick anyway. I don't know if a breeze block. I suppose it is considered a type of brick, isn't it? One. One. Two. You can probably tell this is not going to take me long to do. Two more screws, and this is all I need. I should have just picked four screws out of the box, really, shouldn't I? That might have been the easiest thing to do. Oh, random screws that I've collected up. But I do find that when you're doing random bits of DIY like this, they're very handy to have. does not look level to me by eye, but according to the spirit level, it's level, so. So glad I got this little, uh, call this drill. Oh, I heard the box crack. But it does not look level to me. Throwing that off then. That's where it's got to be. It's not a hundred percent there, but that's close enough. How are we doing? Feed the cable in. And I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to cut this down. Well, I suppose that's not cheating really, is it? It's just making life easier. Okay, so a random cut up here somewhere. My next task after this is to actually build my computer desk. What a pillock. I don't know if you've seen what I've done. I'll just give you a few seconds to spot to uh, see what I've done, but it requires taking the box off and turning it up the other way. You see what I've done? <laughs> Put the box on upside down. Oops. Well, it would have been a lot quicker job if I hadn't done that. But now I've got to take the box off. Turn it up the other way. <laughs> I don't know how I just managed to do that. I obviously wasn't paying attention to the where the holes were. Right. I've just been doing a lot of electrical work at Mum's. As well as helping my stepdad install the toilet downstairs. There used to be one many years ago, but at some point, a previous tenant has taken it all out. Um, and uh, he decided to put it back in where it was originally, so. Alright. Feed one end into here. Like so. This is a brand new length of cable as well. 
And I got that estimate for the cable a bit wrong, didn't I? A bit long at this end. There's no point moving the camera because I'm only cutting the cable, it's nothing interesting. Not yet. There we go. And I've just got to feed it into the socket, like I did that end again. There's no point showing you the same thing twice. Put that in there. A bit more through that end. Oh, I know one thing, I seem to like pushing it tight with my cables. One of these days I'm going to push it too tight, I know I am. I well, actually haven't said that, I have actually done that before. And I've actually ended up with too little. Right. Now, what I call first fixing is done. All I've got to do is stick that face plate on, aka the socket. And attach the cable at the other end and then go turn power back on and we're done. That's as simple as that to install a socket. But uh, never do it live. I don't work live. I've tried it before in the past and yeah. You can imagine what uh, the results were. So I don't recommend it. I don't think any electrician would recommend it working live. Unless you absolutely have to. And, uh, in a home like this, you don't have to, so I don't. Right. Okay. Not the best sockets in the world. These only came from a local department store. Uh... Gonna have to cut these wires down and make life a bit easier, so that's gonna reach there fine. Live, I may not cut down and the earth, I'm not gonna need to cut down either because it's not gonna reach. <laughs> right, I am however just gonna cut that off. Uh, where did I want that neutral? This is how I usually work out the lengths I need. I could just leave it like that, but then it would make it a bit tough trying to pack it behind, so I like to cut them. Down just a little bit, but that should give me enough if I have to take it off and work on it. Just give me enough uh, leeway, that's all I need. So do that. Now, some electricians actually hate doing this, but that's how I've always done it. Always did it when I was on work experience. That's always how I saw electricians do it when I was on work experience, so that's how I've always done it using a pair of uh, wire cutters. Now, bend the end over. That's it. Without what I did, doing what I did yesterday at Mum's and cut through the wire. In fact, I'll squish that bit together using pliers. There we go. If you're wondering why I did that, creates a better surface area for the screw to bite down on. Now, that is a bit of used um, earth sleeving, but it's not damaged, it's in good enough condition, or good condition. There's no splits or anything in it. I wouldn't use it if that was split or ripped or whatever. So, I'm that about there. So, I'm going to do the same for this. I don't have to do it the other end though, because there's two wires together. And besides, bending two wires over like this would uh, make it rather cramped in the terminal. So there's that one. Last one. Like so. Use a pair of pliers just to bend that over. Like so. Ready to stuff wires into the socket like so. So there's number one. I have seen electricians um, torque screws like this down there. They have a little torque screwdriver. I don't. 
So what I tend to do, a lot of people will just do what I've done, you know, it's on there, right, that's fine. I don't. I go that extra bit. Because you don't want a wires coming loose or popping out. So I go as tight as I can. Like so. In fact, I think I do it so tight that it has actually been a pain in the ass sometimes to get the screws undone again. Which is good, in a way, because you know it's not going to come undone. Alright, do the same for this one. And the last one. And we're done at this end. I just got to hope I gave myself enough slack up the other end. Get a bit of get in there. There we go. What did I do with the screwdrivers? The screwdrivers, the screws when I took them off, not the screwdrivers. I know they're here somewhere. And a pair of toy car wheels, I don't want those. They're not going to be any good at holding this on. I hate flathead screws. They should never have been bloody invented. I guarantee that's going to slip off in a minute. You watch. Or not. Oh, there we go. Always a pig to get your screwdriver back on as well. And then again, my dyspraxia doesn't help either. Maybe it's more my dyspraxia than the flathead screws and screwdrivers. Because, uh, my autism does uh, mean that I actually have a few dyspraxic traits. <laughs> uh, one of those is hand eye coordination, which is why you will see me in some of my videos. I will just randomly drop a screwdriver or a spanner or something. Highly and irritating. Even more so when you're halfway up the ladder and it decides, nope, you're not having your screwdriver, you're going to drop it on the floor. And you have to climb all the way down the poxy ladder to get your screwdriver. To go all the way back up, continue doing what you were doing with said screwdriver, just to drop the pissing thing again. Right. So, I've just got to terminate this one now and put that back on the wall. And then we can go and turn power on and make sure everything is working. The other thing I should do is actually go and get my meter and just make sure I have got continuity. You know, especially with the earth, but... Perhaps I should just intentionally trip the earth out. <laughs> yeah, I've got plenty of slack there. Oh yeah, gave myself more this end than I did the other end. That was cutting it tight because I only had to cut down one bar. Right. Cool. There we go. And there we go. You can tell I'm using brand new wire as well from the colours. Used to be red for live and black for blue in hard wiring like this, but they've changed it. So in the UK, it now matches what you would find in a flex like that, which is blue and brown. The only one that they didn't change was the earth because the sleeving has always been green and yellow. I need blue wire to go there. Although I have noticed that's a different shade of blue. I'm sure I got this cable from the same store. I don't know. 
Mind you, I did put this in like two years ago, so you know, maybe they've just changed the colour. do that one up very well did I you see that I'm be changing that I put the, ooh, that bit down on the insulation as well ooh, that really is not good All right I'm glad I actually did what I thought I was or hoping I was gonna do as well let's just get rid of that Let's try and wiggle that down. A bit disappointed in myself for doing that. I don't normally hit the insulation. I'm more better at terminating than that. So, you know, even those of us that actually know what we're doing make mistakes as well. I thought I did something then because the lights flickered. I'm guessing it's just the wind, or I'm hoping it's just the wind. Right. Or maybe because I hit the insulation, it just worked its way loose anyway. I don't know. Let's tighten that down. There we go. I'm going to bloody come loose this time. Nope. Mm. Maybe I wasn't using the best of screwdrivers either when I first did this. I don't know. Can't remember. Am I going to get away with it? I'm going to get away with that, am I? Yeah, boy. I only took a bend out of that earth wire because uh, I needed to adjust the sleeve anyway. There we go. Give that a tug test. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. The last connection. Like that. Got a tug. Yep, yeah, we're good. Stuff it all back in. like in there you don't see that bit Ooh. besides it's nice to have some give in the wires in there I mean I've taken sockets and things off the wall and the wires have been tighter than what I did in that socket up the other end you know you couldn't really pull a socket away to probably pull it away like that much if you were lucky Right. It's just as well, in the UK you don't actually have to be qualified to add things like this. It's probably wise to get someone to do it, but I do have experience from my long distant past. Even went to college. I just made the mistake of dropping out. Probably one of the things I really, really regret doing back then is uh, dropping out of college. 
Right, turn that on. Got my touch lamp. Just bear with me two seconds, I'm just going to go and flip the switch back on. Well, that's a good sign. I didn't hear no bangs or arcs, so that one's working. Do we have juice at the other one? Yep, all's good. Right, that's all I needed to do with this video. My next job is to start work on this table. Um, I've just realised I've hidden the uh, top up. <laughs> right. Okay then. So, I'm going to say thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. And uh, I'm going to crack on with the next one, which is putting this bloody desk up, which I've been wanting to do for ages. Right. <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye.